Whether looking to protect your patio, your gazebo, or other outdoor space, having accurate measurements is essential to ensure a proper fit and optimal protection. So in this quick guide, we'll walk you through the process of measuring your opening and help you determine the right size and shape for the tarp that you need. So let's talk about your structure first. Whenever you buy a gazebo or a patio, it usually comes with predefined dimensions. In this example, we have a 10 by 12 yard street gazebo. And basically, you'll know right on the spot what's your height, your width, and your length. But in terms of measuring the size of a tarps needed, it's better to be a little hands-on with the measurements as these advertisements in these products are actually measured from outside of post to post. All right, so what do I mean by that? The measurement always starts from here, outside of the post, and then it measures all the way to the other edge of the other post. So that's 12 feet. Um, it's not being measured from the inside. If you notice in these diagrams, the inside post to post has a different measurement than the outside. So do we want to measure from the inside of the post or the outside? The short answer is we would want to measure from the middle of the post. So you would want your tarp to cover all of the opening without any problems. And you'll see that on our website as well. You wanted to do something like this or something like this. Another thing you don't want to do is to wrap around um, the tarp on the edges. So like having one panel that wraps around all the way, you don't want to do that because what's going to happen is that the edges would damage the surface of your vinyl and it's going to tear over time and nobody likes it, right? In short, you want to have a panel per opening. So before we dive deep into measuring per panel, we wanted to completely understand why measure where. So let's talk about the tarps, the panels and its components. The tarps we provide at Acon Curtains comes with webbings. So this white piece here, it's the webbing that I am referring to. They're made from synthetic fiber that are sewn into the edges. You would see the stitchings here. And it basically adds additional durability and increased weather resistance. Then we also have grommets. Um, these are typically half inch in size. So the measurement starts from here to here. That's half inch. And usually the measurement from the middle of your grommet to the edge of your vinyl is about three fourths inch. So those are the standard sizes that we do. It can vary over time, but it really depends on how you would be installing it. If you need a smaller or bigger grommet, we can do that for you. All right, so you might be asking, why does it matter? So going back to measuring the columns or posts of your yard street gazebo, would usually have about eight to 10 inches. So from here to here, it's eight to 10 inches. And the columns are usually square tube. So this is the view uh, from the top. So most of the sides, it's gonna have the same measurement, eight inches, nine inches, or 10 inches. All right, so now if you imagine, if you measure from the middle with about an inch allowance on each side, the webbing will land right here. Same goes to the other side. So you'll be able to cover the whole opening without any problem. 
because the other thing you would want to give allowance for are these supporting diagonal structures. Most of the yard three gazebos, they have a little bit of emboss or raise to the front face, but it doesn't really emboss or raise too high. The inch of allowance you gave earlier should suffice. All right, so let's talk about the height. You don't want to measure from the beam right here because it will actually give you a bend so say you lay your vinyl from here it's gonna bend like this and you're gonna have a small opening right here and you don't want that as well so you just wanted to measure right below it and then you would want to go all the way to the bottom. So you don't want to stop measuring here. You don't want to stop the height here. Because what's going to happen is that if you are a little bit short of height, say your vinyl only measures up to here, the small gap at the bottom snow dirt it's gonna blast in through there and you don't want that now we have a lot of options for bottom attachment most common is we can put in like a chain pocket or basically just grommets as well uh, so that you could have an anchor strap uh, for mounting so we use um pockets for either a chain or cable sometimes um, this review is from one of our customers that bought from Amazon and what they did is they use a pipe instead. It's a case-to-case -case basis but let us know what you need and we'll get you covered. Okay, so say so you have a pavilion and Usually the triangular part of the top is always open and you want it to cover that as well. We can definitely do that. What you just want to do is get a piece of paper and draw the shape and measurements. It's a simple drawing. You just wanted to do the same thing that you did on the width and the height. So you want to start measuring from the metal part of this rafter downwards to the metal of the beam. And then across and then upwards to the middle part of the rafter and then to the center and same for the other side now once you have all the dimensions needed like the width like the height in the middle height on each side and the width for the slopes we'll be able to make that tarp for you without any problem now it's really simple but you have to keep in mind that it's always a case-to-case -case basis and some would want to have doors some would want to have zipper openings twist locks pockets irregular shapes because to be honest there's so many possibilities that we can do but if ever you get confused with anything just google a concurrence and feel free to give us a quick chat or email or even a call and we'll be happy to help. Thank you and keep safe.